Okay, so I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make the uh, Terra Rasuru from Legend of Ligia. And to make this particular one like I did, um, I'll probably post up the picture and stuff that I used for it, but these are like some basic materials that you'll need. Um, I used craft foam. This is, I think, 3 millimeter craft foam, if I'm not mistaken. It's not 5 millimeter because that one would be too thick. And this is like the 2 millimeter stuff. Um, and I got a sheet of it and a sheet of the other for like a dollar a pop. You will need a, um, I use a non latex glove because I'm actually allergic to latex. Um, but you can use a uh, nitrile gloves, and you will need duct tape. Um, I used a cheap thing of plastic wrap from Walmart, which is like a dollar and some change. Um, you will uh, need like paper from the doodle book. Um, I used a pencil and an ink pen. Um, you will need hot glue. I used a little silicone. Um, this is actually a drink coaster. Um, the drink coaster is to actually put your hot glue pieces on. Um, you will need some tracing paper. I used one of these uh, resin molds from Hobby Lobby and I used this one down here at the bottom to make the gem. Like this. And then all I did with my gem was um, I added uh, for the purple part of it, um, I added a drop of uh, purple neon food coloring to it, which comes in a box like this, and you can get them fairly cheap. And all it takes is one drop. And then for like the the pink stuff around it, I just used a little bit of nail polish and took a paintbrush, kind of painted the lines around it. And then you can even use nail polish to paint the eye on, or you can also use a Sharpie marker. Um, let's see. I also used um, this uh, Dazzling Metallics from Deco Art. I used uh, Festive Green, and it says 217, but I actually got this on sale for half price. So it was like right at a dollar and some change for a bottle. It's like this weird green color. And I mixed it with the Folk Art Metallic Acrylic Paint. And it's like this color. And I think this, if I remember correctly, is a, yeah, it's Christmas green. And I mixed those two together. Um, this was some hard candy nail polish I had on hand that I think one of my nieces didn't want. I don't remember what. Oh, emerald cut. There we go. Um, but it's kind of shiny and green. And I used these for the um, the main uh, pieces like the knuckle pieces and I also used to them on these. These are fake acrylic nails from the Dollar Tree that I paid like a buck for and I just trimmed them down to where I wanted them. Uh, these pieces are actually just little round globs of hot glue and you put them on your silicone mat and glob them out to about where you want them and you let them cool off and they just peel off the silicone mat like no tomorrow. And the base of this is actually um, a green like stretchy t-shirt that I found at Walmart um, for like a couple bucks it was on clearance sale and I just cut it up and used it as material to make a glove out of. Um, I actually stuffed the end of this with a little bit of um, the green craft foam to make it stand up. And I've got like a safety pin holding it where I need to so it kind of fits to my arm a little bit better to hold the glove on. 
um, whenever I pull my like little arm warmers or whatnot down over it. Um, so basically what you want to do is I take and I put on the glove and it goes on your left hand and you will need a friend for this and then I take your cling wrap and you have a friend wrap your forearm up to a certain point in cling wrap and then you use duct tape and you wrap strips of duct tape over the top of the cling wrap and down the glove and over like your fingers and whatnot. And basically what I did is I took and this comes down to the end and I've just covered it over but you want to slit it up through here and up to the middle of your hand to about here so you can slide your hand out and then I've just covered those over with pieces of duct tape and then I took um, like pillow stuffing and I used part of a bag of pillow stuffing and I stuffed it and then covered up the end so that way um, I could slide my glove on and I could do all of the work on my glove and I know that it's measurements that fit my hand so I don't really have to worry about it too awful much um, and then uh, you can actually take and lay your pieces over the top of your stretchy glove and I actually used um, sewing straight pins and if you want something to stay in a specific spot you can like straight pin it into the hand because it's filled with pillow stuffing and it won't hurt anything although I will say um, I did this in a green color because I thought you know, her her glove is like a green thing. Um, actually, if I did this again, I would actually do it in a brown. So I didn't have to paint this part brown and then glob like a bunch of Mod Podge and sealer and stuff over the top of it. Um, it would make it a little easier if you just did it in brown instead of green but uh, it needs to be fairly stretchy and you need to stretch it a couple different times you can test out how stretchy it is while you're at Walmart um, but what I basically did is I took and I looked at um, it was actually like some uh, concept art that they had had from the game and I took uh, my tracing paper which is over there and I uh, blew up the picture of her hand with the gauntlet on to where it was almost thereabouts the same size as mine and then I traced over it a little bit with like the generalized outline of my hand and traced out like all of the the parts and stuff that I would need to get like generalized um, shapes and whatnot of where things would go and then I cut out all those pieces off of uh, tracing paper and kind of like destructed it apart and you transfer them over to uh, like regular paper or you can even do it on just plain printer paper um, and then I cut those up and I put them onto my glove with uh, sewing straight pins to kind of see how it would fit where it would go and if you need to size it up or down to match your hand um, you can size the pieces up and down and make them a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller and trim off areas that you might not need and then you can like place them where you need to place them on your glove and kind of pin them down for the time being so that they don't go anywhere and you know where they're supposed to go and then all I did was basically um, use like super glue and I actually super glued it down uh, onto the actual glove part and glued all the pieces together um, I would suggest that um, before you glue everything down that you paint all of your pieces seal all of your pieces and make sure you have everything like the shades and stuff that you want and then glue it down onto here 
Um, and then like the little hot glue pieces. I kind of, uh, you can kind of see them a little better here. There we go. Um, the hot glue pieces, I kind of had to gauge about how big to make them to fit in all of these little spaces. The pinky is also the, the smallest. This one is going to be the biggest one. Um, followed probably by like the thumb pieces. And then you just kind of gauge them on your way up. And I took and put the uh, acrylic nails on um, at the very top and glued my little gem that I've got. Uh, it's made out of resin and I glued it down. I've actually got um, clear fingernail polish over the top of it after I got it all painted and whatnot. And you can also put um, like Mod Podge or uh, like a super shiny Mod Podge or something over the top of it. Uh, to make it last and make it shiny like a gem and it's the same with all of these pieces I just put either cleared fingernail polish or Mod Podge over the top of them and kind of uh, like laid it out like how I wanted it I actually had to uh, cut this hole and originally it was like a little hole and I kind of stretched it out a little bit um, but I took and I snipped like a hole in this and I sewed around the edges almost like a little buttonhole to kind of keep the edges from fraying a little bit um, and this hole actually helps you get your glove on and off and she actually does she has a like a little hole place on the the inside of her glove where her palm is in uh, the, the concept art, so I actually used that, and I wrapped some extra pieces around and kind of like trimmed them to kind of like follow said hole a little bit, because uh, they were actually a little bit too long. Um, this piece, I actually just took a plain old ink pen and drew down the middle of it to get the line, um, but this is actually three pieces layered on top of each other. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but I've actually got a uh, hot glue underneath on each side to kind of hold it up in this position where it's got some some area underneath it. Um, all of the the thumb pieces were just uh, wrapped around, and then I used straight pins to kind of hold them together while the glue dried, and then you can pull the pins out. It is a little tricky at first, uh, after you use uh, super glue and stuff, to pull it off of the duct tape, but it eventually does pull off. And uh, you can actually put like uh, put your glove back on your actual casting of your hand if you need it. I would suggest if you're doing a casting of your hand that you do it with your fingers spread open. Because if you do it like this with your fingers spread closed, it will not come out exactly right. You have to have your fingers spread to be able to get in between each finger and to be able to, to move it and get your hand out. And it is a little time consuming and it's a little bit awkward, but you need a friend to help you with this. You need two pairs of hands. Um, other than that, uh, casting the little resin zooms. I use uh, clear casting resin, which I have right over here. And you can get a little uh, eight ounce bottle of this stuff. It's uh, fairly cheap from Hobby Lobby. I think I paid like eight, maybe eight dollars and some change or something for one of these with a 40% off coupon. Um, you just follow the directions and mix up some and pour it in the, the mold after putting some resin demolder in it. Because resin demolder is your friend and it will help uh, these actually to pop out easier. And then you just pop it out uh, and you can put like a, like I said, like a drop of uh, 
neon purple food coloring in it and do it a purple color or if you'd rather do it like a pinkish color or some other color you can dye it some other color with other um, resin dyes food coloring you can use acrylic ink some people even use uh, acrylic paints um, I haven't tried like no polish or puffy paints or anything yet in it to see how that works but you can test out see what works see what doesn't um, the uh, bands that go around the bottom I just had to like make out just cut plain old strips of paper I don't remember how wide I made these because I have like little tiny hands and my wrists are actually like really really small um, so I had to do uh, thin strips and I would wrap it around to see about where I wanted it to sit and then I just added like the slight little curved bubble on uh, all of the ends and then just cut out three of those because it goes underneath this part for uh, these two side pieces to attach to and to kind of end off the gauntlet because your sleeve will come down up to about that point uh, where the cuff of your sleeve is and it will hide the rest of your glove which is what I did was hide the rest of my glove um, but if you have any um, questions or comments or anything you don't understand then uh, let me know and I will try to get back to you on anything. I will try to uh, post up my uh, concept art picture that I've got that I found. I will try to post it up uh, a link on where to go to get it uh, to help anybody who's trying to make one of these out. Um, but for now I will let you guys go. Um, I think um, I also forgot to mention that the small thin pieces are these pieces up here because they have to go around your finger and they have to be thin. Your th thicker 3mm pieces will be these pieces, these pieces, these pieces are 3mm, the side pieces are 3mm on either side but pretty much uh, around your fingers are the only place where you'll need to use like 2 millimeter foam. I don't think I used thicker, no, that's thinner foam there too. Um, but you will need like a lot of these little gems uh, out of hot glue, and it just takes a lot of practice to be able to get them the shape that you want. So you might be running through a lot of hot glue um, so it just takes a little practice to get them where you want, but you shouldn't need more than one sheet of either size just to make a whole glove, a whole gauntlet. And it won't take uh, a whole shirt to make your glove out of. Your glove should be fairly simple. You can even find um, patterns and stuff for how to make gloves if you don't know how to make gloves. Uh, from Yaya Han or uh, Kamui Cosplay has some really good tutorials on how to make gloves if you need them. Um, there's a bunch of different places you can go to find stuff. But uh, yes, if you have any questions or comments or whatever, um, drop them below and I'll try to answer them whenever I have the chance to. If you need help or assistance with something, let me know. And I will try to get back to you as quickly as I can. Um, but for now, I will talk to you guys later. So, okie dokie chocobookies. Peace and much love.